E.J. Balak is known as the photographer who revealed Storyville to us. He was long interested in photography and he came from a prominent family, but he was not well known during his lifetime. He was a commercial photographer. After his death, the plates for photographs he had taken of sex workers in the notorious Storyville district were discovered. Storyville, nicknamed for the mayor at the time as an insult, was a sectioned off area of the city where the typically illegal activities were allowed, like sex work and gambling, so they wouldn't happen so close to the river in public view. He was probably one of the many photographers who documented Storyville, as one of the sex workers from the time claimed in an interview that there were many dirty photographers, but not Bullock, and only his photos seemed to remain. Storyville, which lasted from 1897 through 1917, is also known as the place where jazz developed, as Louis Armstrong and other early jazz musicians played in the Storyville clumps among some 2,000 sex workers and 230 known houses of prostitution. Bullock's candid images showed a different side of the area than was typically represented in the media, as he must have been a confidant of sorts to these women, possibly because they were fellow outcasts. He was described as a, quote, small, misshapen man, reminiscent of the artist Toulouse-Lautrec, whose craft seems to have absorbed most of his energy and interest and of whom little else is known, unquote. Those who knew him said he was relentlessly bullied because of his appearance. One of the sex workers who knew him said he was always polite. His images were displayed at the Museum of Modern Art in New York in 1970. The originals of many of Bullock's discovered works had the faces scratched out, but it's not clear who did it. Perhaps it was his brother, who was a priest. Storyville closed in 1917 as the United States entered World War I. 